In this example, we want to find the orthogonal projection of the vector y that's given here as 1, 2, 3 onto, so we're going to take this vector and project it onto the w, onto w, which is the span of u1 and u2. And then from there, we're going to write, uh, we want to write y hat. Okay, so that's the vector that's, that we're going to get after we've projected y onto, the, onto w. So we're going to take that vector and write it as a sum of a vector in W and a vector in a orthogonal, um, in the orthogonal complement of W, okay, which is which is initialized as W perp, okay. All right. So just at a glance here, okay, we can see that U1 and U2, okay, if we take the dot product, um, we're going to get two times minus two. That gives us negative four. Then we get plus 5 times 1, that gives us 5, okay, and then plus negative 1 times 1. So that's going to give us 0, okay, so u1 and u2 is an orthogonal basis for w, okay. All right, so there, so these two vectors are linearly independent of each other, okay, and they form the, uh, they're going to be a basis in, uh, in w, okay. All right, so so to find y hat, okay, okay, we're going to take y and dot it with u1, okay, divided by u1 dot it with itself, okay, and then plus y times u2 divided by u2 dot it with dot it with itself, okay. And then we have to multiply, right? We have to multiply each of these by uh, by u1, okay? And then the next one by u2, okay? So let me move this over a little bit, okay? Okay, so we have u1 here plus u2, okay? All right, so that's going to... That's going to be a construction for y hat. Okay, so we need to calculate. Okay, so first let's see. Let's calculate y times or y dotted with u. Okay, so that's going to be we have one, two, and three dotted with u one, two, five, negative one. Okay, this is going to give us so we have two plus ten. Okay, that's going to give us 12, and then minus 3 will give us 9. Okay, so now let's take y and dot it with u2. So we have a vector y, dot it with u2, we have minus 2, 1, 1. So that's going to give us minus 2 plus 2, which is 0, plus 3. So that's going to give us 3. Okay, now we have to find the... Um, dot product of u1 with itself in. Okay, so u1, so let's do that down here. Okay. So u1 was 2, 5, negative 1. Okay, so that's going to give us 4 plus 25. Okay plus 1. So that's going to give us 30. Okay. And then we take u2 and dot it with itself. So minus 2, 1, 1. And then minus 2, 1, 1. So you get 4 plus 1 plus 1. So that's going to give us 6. Okay. So we have all the ingredients now to find y hat. Okay. So y Okay, so y hat. Okay, so we have y dotted with u1 was 9, and then u1 dotted with itself was 30, okay, times u1. Okay, so u1, so u1 was 2, 5, negative 1. Plus, okay, the next one is u dotted with u2, so that's going to be 3, 
over um, so u2 dot u2 was six and this is going to be multiplied by u2 which is negative two one one okay so multiplying all this out and then adding this is going to give us minus two fifths two and one fifth so that is basically y hat projected on w right that's y hat on w so that's y the vector y projected onto w okay which is y hat okay so y hat is living right it's, it's in this it's in the span right of w because y hat here remember y hat is a linear combination of of u1 and u2 okay so everything's coming together okay all right so all those theorems that we talked about in chapter one play a big role here okay all right okay so now we want to write y as the sum of a vector in w and w perp okay that's not too bad actually Okay, so then, because remember z, right, z is just the difference between y, the vector y that we're projecting, and y hat. Okay. So y, okay, is equal to, right, because we said that, okay, let's write it this way, just to, just to be clear here, so z right is the difference between y hat. I'm sorry, y the vector y and y hat. Okay, so this means that y is equal to z plus y hat. Okay, so z so we can find z okay and then from there we we have our solution okay so let's do that so z so we just found y hat i'm sorry we just found yeah we just found y hat and then y so we're going to take the difference here so the vector y that we're given was one two and three minus y hat Okay, so this is, okay, so this is going to give us uh, 7 fifths, 0, and 14 fifths. Okay, so now y, the vector y, okay, remember that is y minus y hat. Okay. Okay, plus y. Okay, so this component, remember this is z, that is in w perp. That's a, that's in the orthogonal complement of w. And this, right, that's the projection of y, okay, onto w. So this belongs to w, okay. Alright, so from here, okay, we have Okay, so z, so this is z here, okay. Okay, so that's going to be 7 fifths, 0, and 14 fifths, plus y hat, okay, which was minus 2 fifths, 2, and 1 fifth. Okay, so that is our so that is our solution. Okay, and we can check. Right, we take seven fifths minus two fifths. Okay, we get we're gonna get one, and then zero plus two is two, and then fourteen fifths plus one fifth, that's gonna give us fifteen over five, which is three. Okay, so we get one, two, three for our vector y. Okay.